Welcome back to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. This one is, uh, I'm calling it rainforest land. Look at this, rainforest land. Look at the ferns behind me. This is an actual picture from the property. If I move my head out of the way, you can see that there's a, a little stream running through the property uh, right here. There's two streams. This is one stream that runs through the property and c connects with a larger stream. I'll try to show you some pictures of the bigger stream and uh, some maps and things. And the other thing about this property is we already have the plans pre-approved plans for the septic you where, where you'd put the house and where the septic would go because usually when you're close to a stream and you're, you're in wet areas like this it's hard to get rid of the septic um, and get it to stick into the ground so we've had engineering out to this property they figured it out they drew up some designs I'm going to show that to you here in a little bit too so let's take a look at this uh, let's jump into ruralvacantland.com so my little website there's a picture of me up here my phone number name and number I'm on this one so give me a call if you have any questions. I'm um, asking $74,000 for this. It's a little over two acres. And um, it's in Kitsap County, Washington. So I'm pulling up the interactive maps. It's a goofy shaped lot. There's a road that runs down the, uh, the eastern border of it. And you've got neighbors. If you look around the area, there's a bunch of neighbor houses with utilities. And they figured it out. And there's a stream that runs through here on this border of the property. So this curved part of the property is is going to the stream and the stream runs through these woods and so you could the plans we have be a house would be over here and then uh, the um, there's a smaller stream that comes through here the pipe would go across that stream with a little tiny bridge and then a septic system over here where there's room to put in a septic system for a three bedroom house so a three bedroom house has been approved for that it's uh, it's expired the plans are expired you just have to update them um, so we'll zoom out and show you where we're at in the world. Really green area. This is Puget Sound over here. Um, well, in all directions, basically. And uh, you're out in a big peninsula in the middle. It's Kitsap Peninsula in the middle of, of Puget Sound. So this is Washington. This is the Olympic Peninsula. And the Pacific Ocean over here. If we turn it to a map, you see Seattle's over here. So we're south... We're southwest of Seattle on the other side of the water from Seattle. People are taking a ferry across to get to Seattle. So you could drive up a little bit and take one of the ferries across and commute to work over there. Um, if we zoom in, you can see some ferry routes going, a couple different ferry routes. The property is back over here. So as so we zoom in, we're across the water from Seattle, Highway 16, Sydney Road Southwest and this this map shows a stream going this way, but it's really on the other side. It's not This isn't super exact precise um, So let's uh, let's zoom in I'll Show you again. Yeah, so it had the mat it had the stream going right through the house, which isn't right I mean it, it comes down here and does a bend so that maps not exactly right where the stream is um got buy it now set up so I think you put down a $500 to hold the property if you're out there looking at it like this is my land give me a chance you know <laughs> we're taking the title tomorrow ready to go put down $500 so no one else takes off with it um, got GPS coordinates for the whole thing we've got GPS coordinates for the property so if you click on that in your phone it'll give you driving directions to go see the property if you click on it in the computer it'll give you a map to play with it and you can zoom in around and look at it in lots of different ways taxes are about 113 dollars a year on this one um there's there's you know there's basic stuff in the area walmart um uh, there's a hospital um the uh you know, diners, cafes, gas station, all the supplies are there. This one isn't very rural. This is this is more of a so much more developed area than I'm usually showing land. Um, yeah, so I wanted to bring up the market. I think this is the selling point number one. This is probably what I should have started with. So in this area, stuff seems to trade really fast. There's a lot of things that a lot of trades that are happening. Not much sticks on the market for very long. But looking at what's on the market right now for the general area. So here's Sydney Road. Here's a stream. Properties over here somewhere. Um, some of the cheapest stuff in the area are these ninety thousand dollar ones. Here's an eighty five thousand dollar one. Um, 85 grand it's 2.48 acres so it's just a little bit bigger size it's been on Zillow for 20 hours like this is <laughs> the kind of market we're into so it's you know not even a day and it's already got 94 views eight people are saving it so it's like getting a bunch of traffic just right out of the gate um, 
there's one down here, 55 grand. I mean, I'm asking 74, they're asking 85. And the people are jumping on it at 85. So here's one, here's one acre, 55 grand. I think this one looks like, a, I was looking at this one. It's been on the market for 115 days and this is a really hot market area. I mean, the average stuff on market over here is like a week or two. And this one's been on the market for 115 days, something's wrong, 380 views. says it's very buildable with previously approved septic. So I don't know, it's just been on the market for too long compared to this area. It's less than half the size and it doesn't have the stream and the ferns and the green and the moss and things that we have on, on this property that I'm showing you. Take a look at these pictures. I didn't get to show you the pictures. There's moss hanging off the trees and there's ferns popping out of the forest floor. You can see moss hanging off of more trees. There's moss and ferns and big cedars. And it's beautiful trees and lots of moss, lots of greenery. Um, it's going slow, but the uh, there's pictures, a bunch of pictures like this on the website, realvacantland.com. If you go to the description below, it'll link you back to my website and you can look at all the pictures we have of this property. Here's a picture of the stream. So there's a stream. This is the bigger stream that runs through the border of the property. You can see like this hills next to the stream, trees coming out of the hills. That's the kind of area you could build on and uh, look at the stream. Here's some views of the area, some street views of the area. Maps, we've got a bunch of diagrams and pictures. Here's another picture of the smaller stream that runs through the area. Um, some cartoons from above. Here's, here's the one from the background. Here's, here's one showing a no trespassing sign and a bunch of, uh, bunch of ferns and you no, know, it's raining when they took the picture, right? Because it's always raining. It's rainforest area. <laughs> so we saw a bunch of pictures. I have a diagram I wanted to show you. So this is the paperwork. And I'll get this on the website too so you can study it. Is uh, This is a building site application. This was done in 2004. They did the site application with the county. And they did soil logs to figure out um, the septic. And they've got the, the information here on the soil logs. They've got a, I'm not sure what this is. They're planning out the sewage. This is, this is the bigger picture map. And then here's a smaller picture map of where this property is. So here's an, a picture of the area. Here's a picture of the actual property. And so they've got a proposed water well site where you could drill a well with the, the all the, you know, the radius and easements and things and how that would work. And so they've also got a location where they would put a proposed three-bedroom house. I mean, you can figure out what you want to do, but the, their plan had the house here, and it had, uh, um, I'm not sure what that is. It's a driveway, maybe, or a garage. Oh, there's a garage. You could house and garage, garage behind it with the sewage line going this way, which would cover this smaller stream, picture of that smaller stream I was showing you, and the bigger creek being over here, the smaller stream running through the middle, so that the sewer line would cover, go across the smaller stream over to a leach field over here, and they've got it measured out with the setbacks and the topography and all kinds of things. There's a little bit of wetlands area in between. Um, there's a trail over here, trail to, does that say Sand Lakes something area? Um, basically the trail, and then, uh, yeah, some more wetlands over here. So they've got the wetlands mapped out. They've got where you could put a drainage field in, where you could put a house, where you could put a garage, where the road is, the road comes through here, where you'd put a little bridge. They say put a bridge here. There's already a bridge there, I think, because that's where the road crosses the little stream. You could attach the attach the bottom of it. And the, the point is that the plans are there. You can study the plans and learn a lot. Oh, no, they wanted a bridge across the stream here for the pipe, and there's already a bridge there for the driveway. Um, and so this little bridge, they made a diagram of the little bridge, how to do it and everything. Um, yeah, see that they're talking about two by six planking on top, and I think it was 10 by 10s trusses, um, but they got the measurements on here. Yeah, 10 by 10 timbers, two by six planking on top with 10 by 10 timbers underneath to span the bridge of the stream. And then you could hang the pl plumbing underneath there, and they're showing the pipes leaving an insulation wrap and what you, what you need to do to make that happen to get it across the stream. And then um, 
where you could put the water well and water well supply line. They just got, they've got the basics. Like you could edit from here and then send it into the Kitsap Public Health District. But this is what they got approved in the past, this plan. And it just has expired. It expired when the market crashed, 2008, right? Um, here's some little cartoons of the drainage fields diagrams that they put together and the different, the drainage field system that they plan to use for this kind of ground and the different, um, you know, where, how their drainage came out in the field compared to standards and uh, how it all comes together and the checklists and, you know, information, you know, project approval from the county and the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife approved it. They just got all kinds of proof that, you know, they could have gone and built a house with all this stuff, right? So we've got all the paperwork to back it up, which I think is really neat. And then let's go back to the market. So the cheapest one just came up 20 hours ago. Uh, cheapest comparable is 85 grand. There's a 55 grand down here that's half the size and it just it looks like a more boring lot. And we're, ours has a stream and it's got the plans and it's got it's got ferns and moss and it's just you know green looking thing. And uh, it's a really hot market. The other ones are 90 grand, couple 90s around the market. Let's see how long these have been on here. 500 days, like it's landlocked. That's what's wrong with that one. That doesn't count. 90 grand. Um, so this one says, uh, I don't know, this is probably pretty good competition. It's a good looking lot with some moss on it. I mean, they're missing the stream. We don't have the streams on this one. So you don't have as much water to look at and uh, make it customized, but they're asking 90 grand. I'm asking 74,000. So ours is cheaper. And I think it's got more, more going for it, but take a look at the ones that are out here and compare 135. Let's see what they're doing. Um, five acres. Okay. So that's twice the size of mine. And I'll let you guys go look through these. This looks like more pine forest than the cedars and the, the water going all over the place. But uh, they got a bunch of pictures asking 135 grand. So they're asking a lot more. So we're right in here, right in the middle of these ones that are asking a good deal more than us. And um, I don't think they've got as much going on for the property. So we'll see how it goes. This is Luke Smith at Rural Vacant Land bringing you another beautiful property that could be yours go check it out check out the link below to go to the website and get directions back to the property um, and see if see if this is the right property for you thanks for listening thanks for watching if you want to see more videos like this please hit subscribe and i'll keep making videos about different properties as they come in thank you see you in the next one bye